Trevor Noah feasts on Steve Bannon's 60 Minutes interview. Trevor Noah found the banquet of comedy and former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon's interview with Charlie Rose for CBS's 60 Minutes that aired previous night in its entirety. It was a rare TV interview for the Trump strategist who has largely stayed in the shadows and who got ousted in August. The Daily Show host has big takeaway, this mother fastress gasters cur should have stayed in the shadows. That segged to clips of Bannon telling Rose the Republican establishment is trying to nullify the 2016 election, the Catholic Church needs illegal aliens to fill their churches, Bannon rhetorically wondering about those who protested the neo-Nazi rally in Charlottesville where does this end, in taking down the Washington Monument? Bannon also insisted he does not care about the mainstream media which was pretty rich given that he was saying it to Charlie Rose on CBS's 60 Minutes, which is about as mainstream as you can get. It is like Donald Trump took dump while tweeting and then wished for that dump to be a real boy, Noah marveled. While the interview was not particularly eye-opening it did confirm who we all thought he was, Noah said, a radical nationalist who believes Trump will be instrumental in tearing down the establishment. During the interview, Bannon showed how all in he was on Trump while talking about the October surprise when WAPA published a 2005 of then celebrity apprentice star Trump boasting to access Hollywood host Billy Bush about grabbing women by the P asterisk C. Billy Bush Saturday was a litmus test, Bannon had told Rose. When you side with a man you side with him, the good and the bad. Besides concluding that if Trump ever kills someone, Bannon will be the one driving the white supremacist Bronco. Noah was struck at the way in which Bannon and Rose kept describing that incident in the campaign. He rolled clips of both men calling it Billy Bush Saturday, Billy Bush Weekend, etc. Poor Billy Bush. Noah sympathized. He must have been watching that and saying, come on man. You can t-name something after someone who happened to be there. It is like rebranding the JFK assassination as motorcade driver as bad day. In the interview, Bannon did not budge in his opposition to immigration telling Rose America is built on her citizens and dismissing Rose's observation we all are immigrants is leftists drivel that us beneath Rose. Noah revealed The Daily Show hired a professional genealogist to look into Bannon's background and discovered his great-grandfather immigrated to this country from Ireland in the 50 seconds at a time when America's borders were so open it required no passport, no visa, no background checks of any kind, Noah said. Steve Bannon's great-grandfather was a dreamer and his great-grandson is a Hephaestus King Nightmare.